Okay, what's up guys? This is your boy Christopher Joe and today I will be showing you guys the Vita 3K. Showing you guys a quick showcase and first I'll show you guys how to download it and give you some tips because for me it was a journey to get. So I'll try to make it a little bit easier for you guys. So there's two ways you can download the Vita 3K. Um, you can download it through their website, download the Linux version for it. Or you can get it through EMU deck, which is what I did. I tried both of them both ways and I just recommended you guys just use EMU deck. So once you have it downloaded, you'll log in. It'll make you create a name and just create anything for now. And first thing you're going to do is install the firmware. Now, the firmware you can download straight from PlayStation uh, when you first log in or open Vita 3K, it'll take you exactly there. Um, it's another firmware you can download where it, where it will basically translate uh, different languages for you. Um, I didn't, I did at first, but after a while I didn't. I mean, I'm probably not gonna play any other games like Japanese or Korean or anything like that. But once you have that downloaded, um, you have to get your game. Now, this is the tricky part. Of course, I can't tell you guys where to exactly get your games from but if you guys want to email me or shoot me a message on any one of my social medias i'll tell you it's really really easy to get um the problem is is that i'll show you guys what i had a problem with now there's two ways you can install games you can install the pkg or the zip file or the vpk when i first started i wanted to make my life easier because i did not know what pkg was i just wanted to do straight zip files and my personal experience zip files did not work at all for me um it was hectic um, they were making me like download the pkg open it then rezip it it was just too much so i decided to use the pkg which is definitely what i recommend when you do download a pkg you will ask you for a work bin file and if you get it from the correct website you can download them both because they'll be right next to each other so each game that i i have right here i had to download the game and download the work bin one good thing about that is that when it walks you through everything you install you don't need to keep it downloaded so all these roms that i have on here it gave me the option to delete all the files it kind of helps with saving space too you don't want to have those random files in there Let's look at the configuration and then go to settings. In my CPU, I you see I don't have enable optimization. I had to turn that off to get some games working. Um, right here is your GPU. Um, most people say that you can use open GPL or Vulkan. I just chose to use Vulkan because most of the videos I looked on, uh, that was the recommendation. So I went on and did that. Um, I did change my GPU for some reason that got my games working. And I'll tell you more about the games once we run through this real quick. But that was pretty much it. And down at the bottom, once you do make changes, um, you just go ahead and hit save, then close. So these are the games that I know for sure work. But there is a website I'll put in a link where you can find a list of all compatible games that that quote unquote work uh, for the Vita 3K. The reason why I say quote unquote, because there are some games that say they were compatible, but didn't work. Like I wanted to play Miami Hotline and every time I would open it, it would just crash. And I went to like a lot of subreddits or reddits and a lot of people were having the same issue. What I recommend is I watch different YouTubers that play the Steam Deck and have the Vita 3K. I kind of looked at their videos and see which games worked like well. And if it was a game that I like, I just went in and got it. I actually prefer to play on gaming mode. So we're going to go to gaming mode real quick and I'll just show you guys some of the games that do work.
Okay, so here I am playing Terria or Terria, Ter Teraria. I've never played this game before, but I figured I'd try it on the Vita. And this is actually my first time playing it. But so I'll just show you guys just a little bit, show you that it works. And I, I'm not surprised that this game works because it doesn't look like it's a lot going on. It was a very small file uh, compared to the others. So, um... I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to figure out the game, but I will just sh show you a little bit, I guess. Okay, so this next game actually said it was not compatible. I downloaded this on a mistake, like I said it. But so far, what I've played, it actually works. Um, I've never played this game either. It's just one of those games that I wanted to play. Um, so I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to figure it out. Um, I'm just going to see how far we can get to see if it crashes or, you know, any graphic issues. or You might see a lot of audio issues, even with games that do play. Uh, it really doesn't bother me because... I'll just turn it down or I'll just tune it out. So far, it looks like it runs really well. Okay, so I'm definitely having an issue um, bringing up the keyboard. Uh, <laughs> somebody mentioned this when they were playing the game that it brings up its own um, keyboard. But so far, I can't get it to work. I'm not sure how to. It doesn't look like the Steam keyboard is working for it. So far, so good. And there you go. It just froze. Um, and it crashed. Um. Cool. Well, it didn't crash on that time. Oh, shoot. Okay, so far, that's pretty much it. Um, I would recommend you guys probably do some more research if you want to get this game or just be mindful that it gets really tedious. But it is actually really fun to play, at least the games that do work. If you guys have any questions, you know, hit me down low or, you know, you can always email me if you have specific questions like where to get your ROMs or anything like that. Uh, the website that I use is pretty dope, fast, and easy. Uh, with that being said, hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, 